But anyways, you know, Andrew Carnegie was the steel baron out there in Correct. Richard Grove's hometown of Pittsburgh. Um, and thanks to Carnegie, they blackened the skies over Pittsburgh. Uh, Pittsburgh used to just be nothing but smog and pollution. Um, still kind of is. Um, the mountains and everything don't help. There's nowhere for it to go. But Carnegie enslaved western Pennsylvania, and he kept the people under his fist thanks to the Pinkerton Agency. And uh, Pinkerton Agency helped along with the coal, coal, oil, and fire police. Uh, the Pennsylvania Coal, what is it, Coal, Oil, yeah, the Pennsylvania Coal, Oil, and Fire Plant. A anyways, it was a, a private police force that ended up becoming the nation's very first state police force, and that would be the Pennsylvania State Police, which was formed out of a private mercenary army that had been harassing workers. Um, and that became the template then for every other state in the Union to then get a state police force. So from its inception, state police forces were basically private armies of the richest industrial barons in each state the richest monopolists basically had a their own state militia that they could use to yeah. harass intimidate and kill workers with